What? Where are my skis? I do not have my skis. What? Today we don't have our coordinates and we must be looking for them using our slope equation. Come on, help me find my skis in these coordinates. Where'd I go? Thank you, Klaus, for the snowy introduction. I hope you stay warm out there in that crazy weather. Uh, today we are, as Klaus said, looking at our third lesson in our slope playlist, and we will be helping Klaus find his skis while we find missing coordinates using our slope equation. So let's get on the ski lift and see what our objective is today. Today I will be able to use the slope equation to find missing coordinates. So last lesson you learned about the slope equation and where it came from and why we use it. And today we're going to be using that to search for missing coordinates. All right, to review before we get off the ski lift and try to get down that mountain, uh, the slope is the steepness of a line, right? These are all things we've learned from previous videos. We learned that the slope is the ratio of the rise to the run. For every change in y, right, so up or down, um, how many are we going over on our x-axis, right? How many are we running to the left or to the right on our x-axis? And so the formula that we discovered, the equation that we discovered to help us find slope, M stands for slope, is the uh, change in Y over the change in X, right? So Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. This is our equation that we used last video for slope. And today's going to be a little bit different because now we're going to have the slope and we're going to be looking for one of our missing equations. So let's solve this question, right? And then we can actually check it using a coordinate plane just to make sure that we're not crazy. The line that we're going to make includes the points 1 and 6 and 3 and A, right? So we're missing our second Y coordinate. And it has a slope of 3. What is the value of A? So I know that my slope equation, right, is Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus x1. So I'm going to use that and plug in what I know. So now I know that my slope is 3, right? So m is 3, and 3 is going to equal. I don't know my first one, so I'm going to use my variable a for that variable. So a minus 6, right, y1, over x2, which was negative 3, minus x1, uh, sorry, which was 1. Right, And so now I've set up this algebra equation. I'm going to be using my linear equation rules, which we learned about um, in previous lessons, to solve this. So the first thing I want to do right, is I'm going to rewrite this, and I'm going to combine and simplify what I know. Okay, I can't combine my variable and my constant right here, but I do have negative 3 and minus 1, which I know will be negative 4. So now I've simplified what I can using addition and subtraction. Now I need to begin to kind of unravel this. So I know this is a ratio, but we're thinking about it as a fraction. So really this is a minus 6 divided by negative 4, right? So the inverse operation of um, dividing by negative 4 would be to multiply by negative 4, right? And because I know that my linear equation or my equation is a scale and it has to be equal, I know that whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other. So now I can cross these out because my inverse operations cancel, cancel each other. 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And now I have that equaling a minus 6. So now, let me get rid of that. So now I know I need I have minus 6, so I'm going to do the inverse operation of that. So I'm going to add 6 here, I'm going to add 6 here, and I'm going to say that my inverse operations cancel out. And so negative 12 plus 6 would be negative 6. And so A is going to equal negative 6. So I'm plugging it into my slope equation, and then I'm just using my algebra, my linear equation, my... Um, equation knowledge to help me unravel the mystery and solve for my variable, right? So over here, I'm going to put that I think that a equaled negative 6, okay? And I'm going to erase this for a second because I'm going to bring up a coordinate plane, right? So here's my coordinate plane, and I know I'm going to graph 1, 6 was my first one, right? And then negative 3, negative 6, and so um, shuffle over 3, negative 6 right here, okay? 
And now this isn't going to be perfect, but I'm going to kind of plot some points. I'll plot them in red. So I know no matter what that my slope um, was 3, right? So if I think my second order pair was negative 3, negative 6, then if I follow my ratio of 3 up for every 1 over, right, which my, that was my slope, then I should reach this point exactly, right? So if I start here and I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, and over 1, I'm going to plot my order pair there. 1, 2, 3, over 1. Plot my order pair there. 1, 2, 3, over 1. 1, 2, 3, over 1. And I can see that that is a part of my straight line. Now, I'm not going to try to draw a straight line because it'd be pretty bad, but I can see vi very visually that, or I can see very clearly that these have formed a straight line. So solving for my missing um, ordered pair using my algebra knowledge worked. This is true. So you go ahead and do this one, okay? Um, and we're not going to check this one with a coordinate plane, but go ahead and pause it. Try it out if you're ready. And if not, you can just watch me do it. Um, if you have tried it, go ahead and check your answer, okay? Okay, I know that my slope was negative 2 ninths, right? And that is going to equal y2, so y2 is negative 1. I do not have y1, so minus p is my variable, over x2, which was 6, minus a negative 3 for x1. Okay, and then just like normal, I'm trying to solve for my, my variable. So I need to simplify, combine all my like terms that I know. So over here I have negative 2 ninths still, okay, and that's going to equal. And I can't combine anything on the top of my ratio, okay, uh, but I do know that two negatives make a positive. So that's going to cancel out. And I'm going to do 6 plus 3, which is 9, right? Now I actually have a proportion, right? I have two ratios that are equivalent to each other. And because you've done this before, okay, you know you can cross multiply here, okay, and they will be equal to each other, right? So I have um, 9 times negative 2, right? So that's going to be negative 18. Okay, equals, and then I have over here, right, really what I'm doing is I'm doing 9, right, um, times negative 1 minus P, right, and so I need to distribute that out, so that's going to be negative 9 minus 9P, all right, and now I'm just solving for my variable. Now it's just a linear equation, right, and so I have, I want to get rid of my negative 9 by adding 9. Okay, so whatever I do to one side, do the other. So negative 18 plus 9 would be negative 9 equals, these have now canceled out, negative 9p to the inverse operation of multiplication is division. So I'm going to divide each side by negative 9, which will cancel those out. So I think that 1 equals p. So my missing ordered pair here was 1. As always, thank you so much for spending your time with Instructed Beats today. Uh, I know Klaus appreciates it. Please check out our slope song on our YouTube channel, at Instructed Beats Official. You can follow us at Instagram, at, at Instructed Beats. And always, please subscribe and like the video. Thank you so much. Instructed Beats, out! <laughs>